You know, sometimes debates are for snakes. Gents in Cyberland coming back to another educational life real estate content video. So this one, I'm just gonna get really personal about it. I guess you could say, is that um, you know some people just wanna argue just to argue. They have nothing better to do with their time. They just wanna literally get into it with other people and try to make them do what they say or believe what they say. And they may not even believe what they're saying. They just literally want to argue just to argue and debate just to debate. Because they have nothing else going on in their life. They have nothing else to do. That's it. And I say that at a certain point, debate is for snakes. There are just certain things that are not going to be up for debate. I'm not going to debate them. I don't fucking have to. And I don't. And I'm, I'm just not going to. And what that means is, for some people watching this, as you hear me post these videos, I am a parent. Certain things I'm not going to debate with people about when it comes to my kids. When it comes to their upbringing... When it comes to our family values and beliefs, I'm not going to debate that. Read between the fucking lines of what I'm trying to tell you. I don't need to outwardly state it. Just think about what I'm saying. I'm not going to debate with you about these things. You're not going to tell me that what I'm doing is not the best course of action when it comes to the well-being of my wife or when it comes to the well-being of my children or my household. I'll listen to what you have to say, but you're not going to make me or try to shame me into doing what you say. Nobody is. And I think Our society has lost sight of that, that we have allowed certain people who really have no control over their own lives, they, they act like they do, but they really don't. We have allowed these people to infiltrate and try to tell us what they think is best and tell us what we need to do and tell us that we need to raise our families as they see fit. Who the fuck are you? What gives you the authority to tell me how I need to teach my sons how to be men? Teach my daughters how to be women? Teach my children how to be upstanding righteous citizens of society? What gives you the right or the authority to tell me what's what? And the thing of it is, is that we have continued to allow these people to think that they're going to dictate to us about our views and how our views need to be cohesive or um, have to be in harmony with their views. And that's not the case. And it doesn't have to be. And that's okay. I mentioned in one of my videos that I pray at times. Somebody else doesn't pray. They don't have to. 
That's fine. I'm not going to debate with them about that they need to pray. You want to pray? Don't. But you're also not going to have me debate with you about why I feel or why that I teach my sons that they need to know how to defend themselves. That they need to protect themselves when it comes to interacting with the opposite sex with the type of systems we have in play that may try to ruin them in a sense. That if they're going to be sexually active at some point that they need to strap up. Use the Jimmy Jim. Use some type of protection. That they need to understand that doing drugs is not beneficial. Or abusing alcohol is not beneficial. Well, you shouldn't be telling them that. Who the fuck are you to tell me that I shouldn't be telling them that? Well, I don't agree with that. That's fine. You handle your kids as you see fit, and I'll handle my kids as I see fit. How about that? This is not up for discussion. This is not up for me to debate with you about how I handle things with my family. And it not only goes that, but it's really my household. See, when you step outside your household, you don't get to dictate to the world how they need to do things per se. You can't. You can't control what everybody else does outside of your home. What you can't control is how things are done in your home. And that's, I think, where people have kind of uh, dropped the ball a little bit. They feel that they have no control of their household or that the, the government or that these uh, certain ideologies of folk think that they're going to tell you what you can and can't do in your household. You don't debate these people. You don't have a long conversation with them. Matter of fact, you just ignore them. They don't matter. They have no power unless you give them power. They have no control over you, at least in this country. No matter what they try to say. No matter what they try to do. The less you stop paying attention to these people, the less you just start telling them, like, literally just when they try to say you shouldn't be eating this or listening to this or doing this or walking here or running here or playing this video game or watching this movie. Like sometimes it's just best to just tell these people to fuck off. Go away. I can't, I shouldn't have to apologize for the fact that you were so miserable with your life that you feel you have to find a way to make other people miserable. Go away. Go do something else. Remove yourself from my presence. Because I'm not going to debate you about playing Street Fighter. I'm not going to debate you about listening to NWA. I'm not going to debate you about the fact that I read the Bible and that I try to follow try to follow its values. I'm not going to debate with you about it. I don't have to. You can either respect what I do, since I'm not infringing on you, or you don't have to. And if you don't have and if you don't, that's fine, but then you need to remove my remove yourself from my presence, or I need to remove myself from you. Because what we don't want is just to escalate into violence. And sometimes that's what you, that's the best course of action with people. Not violence, but people need to understand that you have a right 
to live your life the way you choose, whether whatever that is, as long as you're not inflicting harm on others. And I don't mean by words, because words are just words. I don't care what somebody calls me. People have called me fat, they call me a loser, they call me the N-word. I'm trying to be not say so many words on here. I've been called a creep, I've been called jaded, I've been called negative, I've been called a pessimist, I've been called uh, short, I've been called weird. I've been like, fuck you. Seriously. I'm still here, I'm still me, I'm still going to try to enjoy my life the best way I can. And you are not going to stop me from doing that. And you're not going to try to make me go into this debate about how I'm wrong and you're right kind of thing. Go find somebody else to do that with. Life is short, people. And... You gotta stop letting people, especially these organizations of people that want to tell you that you're wrong for having family values, you're wrong for liking a film, you're wrong for liking some type of music, you're wrong for um, reading the Bible, you're wrong for teaching the Bible to your kids, you're wrong for promoting masculinity for your boys. And femininity for your, your, your daughters. Like, you gotta stop letting these people dictate how you're supposed to live their life. Because at the end of the day, these people have no, no control over their life and they want to they want to inflict their narcissistic narcissistic type of views onto you because their shit is so out of whack. So anyway, with that being said, I will catch you guys on the next one. Take care.